autumn means conkers and that means horse chestnut trees. How important are horse chestnuts to this town, to the look of the town? They're very important here in Cheltenham. Uh, a good portion of our trees are horse chestnuts, not only in parks and gardens, but also in, as street trees. Uh, and the, the majority of them are really big ones now. Um, so yes, yeah, very important. But our horse chestnuts are facing a tiny moth that's proving a big problem. What's going on with these trees behind us? Well, these trees have been damaged by a tiny little moth, which has got caterpillars so small it actually lives inside the leaf. And the damage has been so severe that basically it looks like autumn's come early. And here are the horse chestnut, leaf miner, moth, caterpillars, living inside the leaf itself. And in the spider's webs in the trees around them, you'll find the tiny moths the caterpillars turn into. You'll also find them on the gently fluttering leaves. You'll even find them on my jacket. So this little chap's landed on me a few minutes ago and he's sitting there quite happily. Uh, and this may be one way these moths actually spread. I mean, if I got into a car now and drove somewhere else, he might sit on my clothes quite happily and then fly off at the other end and go on to infect a whole new population of trees. In fact, in Europe, they actually call these the hitchhiker moth. This isn't the effects of autumn. These leaves are like this because of the leaf miner moth. So let's get a sense of how many caterpillars you find in a tree like this. Let's start with the leaf. Well, each one of these blotches is caused by one of the caterpillars, and these are young ones, and those, that's an older one there. So maybe on that leaf there's 30 or 40. Mm. By the time you scale up to the number of leaves on the tree, there could easily be 100,000 on a tree, and therefore maybe a million in a row of trees like this. Thanks to these moths, a horse chestnut tree could lose its leaves in June, long before autumn. We're not planting any more horse chestnuts. We're planting different species of chestnuts which look very similar to the horse chestnut, but are, uh, in theory, resistant to this, to this leaf miner. So hopefully, you know, the problem will iron itself out, but it'll take a long time. Next time you pass a horse chestnut, take a closer look. The brown leaves may not be a sign of autumn after all.